It's certainly starting to look like spring with early flowers just starting to pop up and bloom. Have you seen any yet? Well, even if the forecast doesn't agree, AJ Petiti, our dear friend, live at Avon Petiti Garden Center. AJ, always so good to see you. How are you? I'm fantastic. That 70 degree weather yesterday got me so excited for spring. It's not even funny. And there's I a lot know. of stuff actually. Um, it's it's just it's so exciting. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff to do in the yard right now, um, and we'll talk about spring flowers. But first of all, if you haven't put your step one down, now's a great time. We'll talk more about lawns next week, but this weekend is a great opportunity to get step one down. So um, if you're overseeding, make sure that you put in or filling in bare spots. Make sure you put down step one for seeding. Um, if not, normal step one is um, great. So um, and then just getting for color and Easter plant, there's. A lot of beautiful perennial, uh, perennial color that you can put in the yard and some great plants inside. So, I mean, beautiful plants to help celebrate Easter. You've got just traditional Easter lilies, which mm -hmm. are great and are actually hardy. So those are actually plants mm. that you can plant um, out in the yard after you're done. Uh, calla lilies are beautiful, um, just beautiful flower. A lot of forest bulbs, so tulips, daffodils. This is a hyacinth. Um, hyacinths are great to bring in the house because they're fragrance. If you haven't smelled a hyacinth, um, it's something you got to put on your bucket list because mm. they just they, they smell so beautifully and just a mm. lot of just great this is a gerber daisy but there's forced hydrangeas there's different bulbs a lot of different flowers but what's really cool is actually so this is a just a nice assortment of beautiful blooming spring perennials and you might not have thought of this before but if you're looking if you're you know having some family over or a small gathering for easter you can bring these flowers inside the home and they'll be totally fine for a couple days and then bring them outside and plant them in the yard. So I, you can't leave them inside uh, the home for you know long periods of time, but for a couple of days, you'll be totally fine. You can even put them in a little planter and then transfer that out. But like this rock foil in the middle of a table, you know, you put two or three of these together, mm -hmm. I mean, would just be stunning in so the middle pretty. of a table. These will bloom all spring. They do great in the sun. And there's a lot of plants, a lot of perennials that bloom now that bloom pretty much all summer long. So um, this scabiosa is just, gorgeous and this will bloom from now all the way through late fall in terms of a perennial it's probably the best value these and daisies are two of the best values really going out there so so AJ, both if, of these, if the you do put also, them in the ground then what happens if we get some more snow which uh, we do have some in the forecast or uh, any of these uh, freezing days is it a little too soon so so the no you can actually you can definitely put these in the ground um, if you want to wait till the weekend till after tonight tomorrow night um, that'll be fine also but okay. anything that you planted earlier the snow is really not an issue it actually works as kind of an insulation so that's not going to bother any flowers it looks like there's a good chance of frost Friday night though and so that's where if you're getting frost this is a frost blanket so it's basically just it's a thin layer um, it's of fabric but it's not plastic and so the one thing that you want to make sure that you remember if you're protecting flowers from frost and the only thing that you really have to protect from frost is if you got some pansies or you got some early blooming perennials that you planted this year that's what you want to protect so anything that was in the ground that's coming up naturally will be fine your bulbs will be fine um, but if you're protecting for frost just make sure you do not use plastic and just a bed sheet's fine you know anything that's a natural fabric you'll be in good shape newspaper is plastic, newspaper it'll okay go right through and uh, newspaper's okay if okay. you can keep it down Okay. So that has a tendency to kind of blow away. It does. But just anything Be but plastic. Be strategic. Plastic, plastic Keep it will down. just, it'll. It, no plastic. It'll fry everything. No plastic. No plastic. So, um, but that'll, uh, you know, help protect everything going through. Um, and some other beautiful ones. So this is a Brunera. Uh, it's a beautiful flower. It'll bloom again through the season. And it's very, very deer resistant. These two plants, so Brunera and then this is a Helleborus. And hellebores is a special flower. It just, it's something that they've developed over the uh, past few years. It's an early spring flower and it's extremely, these two plants are extremely deer resistant. So if you've got mm. big deer problems, um, these two will really help, um, you know, allow you to have a little bit of color with a lot of, without a lot of concern. Um, Corbels is a great one. The beautiful thing, the flowers are, you know, very delicate and um, not really show stoppers. They're beautiful, but really the foliage is i mean really what brings you and draws you to that plant and it you know just bursts of color they come in burgundies oranges even rust colors i mean just some really cool stuff and same thing you can bring these in the house you know enjoy them around a little bit and then bring them outside um and then same thing with pansies and violas so this is a viola and it's actually 
got a really nice fragrance. Mm -hmm. And so it's not something that you see from a lot of violas, but this variety um, in particular has just a beautiful fragrance. And so same thing, if you bring that inside the house, um, you know, go ahead, plant it inside out in the yard afterwards, and that'll just come back year over year. You know, the clumps will spread out and you'll be in great shape. AJ, are um, these flowers that you then, could have, like say in your house for Easter, for family maybe coming over for you just to enjoy the next two weeks or so? And then could you eventually not just put them outside in the ground, but in, in your containers outside? Absolutely. So I would only keep them in the house for two, three, four days at the most. Oh, okay. There's not enough light, and so oh, okay. that'll it'll force them. It'll drop the flowers. So I'd bring them in, you know, Friday or Saturday, and take them out Monday. But you could absolutely put these in containers. So Love it. Um, that's a really great idea, you know, as, especially if you've got containers where you're not gonna be able to plant, you know, petunias or a lot of your annuals right. till mid late May. These will give you some beautiful color, you know, from now until then. Especially, you know, the violas, the daisies, scabiosa. And it's a great way to just extend those containers, extend the flowers, and just all great you know, stuff. There's gonna be beautiful days between now yeah. and then, you know, to enjoy the patio. Enjoying it, right? You guys, speaking of patio, your patio furniture there is amazing. AJ, so great to see you. Thank you. Happy Easter. Please tell your family that we wish you a beautiful Easter weekend. Thank you so much. Appreciate oh, it. You too. Happy Easter. All right. So long.